Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a mod review of a truck and if we access mod dealer and it's the Volvo FM Globe Trotter and we'll just customise one and see what there is. So the cabins, there's day cab, sleeper cab, global trotter cab and global trotter LXL cab. And then chassis, there's the 4x2, 4x2 lower deck. Uh, low deck, sorry, 6x2, 6x2 mid lift, 6x2 tag lift, and the 6x4. Engines, guys, they range from, I think it's 330 horsepower all the way up to 500 horsepower. And that's a D13K500 Euro 6D. Transmission, there is loads, guys, loads of transmissions. I think they range from... Um, see they range from 12 speed only uh, up to 12 by 1 or 12 by 2 and you've got the uh, dual clutch as well so all good fun the interiors are standard standard UK exclusive I and mean, then exclusive UK paint jobs there's quite a few guys there's all different colors and metallic colors and custom colors and then the accessories on the outside there's quite a few um i won't go into detail with them all uh because uh, obviously you know it'll take too long but you can customize your wheel arches your fen uh, your uh, roof defector so you can have it raised or lowered and then uh, your uh, deflectors for spoilers for the spoiler and all that good stuff um inside you can uh do your, your usuals your steering wheel your uh your dash sets and your mug and console items and things like that all different ones so if we go in guys i've, I've already bought one so we'll go and uh test drive it as you can see that's mine it uh it does look nice so i'll just get into into it um, what we'll do is we'll take a look on the outside first. So, my guys, this is the outside. There is our blue tank on. It's all LED lights and indicators. Does look really nice. Just put the side lights on there so there's two at the top two at the bottom standard on your air on so we'll give it a start up on the outside and see what you think so we'll switch the lights off first it's got the daytime running lights as well so it's not it's not a very noisy so I'll put the lights on so there's your side lights, your main beam, uh, the main beam, and then the I beam there, guys. Does look nice. And on the rear is exactly the same. Indicators work. You can just about see them. And the brake light goes up. So on the inside, uh, we'll give it a start up again. I'll just do the wind up. Have the wind open. I don't like the glare so much on the glass. I think I'm not too keen on it. So that's why I have the window down. So as you can hear, it is pretty quiet for the truck. All the windows work guys. They all work. So what we'll do is we'll take it for a test drive. We'll just take it round the block and see what it's like. So yeah, apart from the glare, uh, is everybody enjoying? the uh, new uh, Euro truck 
I'm not so keen on the glare. It's not for me. I'll go left here. We'll try the uh, retarder in a minute. When uh, we we'll get a bit of speed up. Quite a big, kind of uh, aggressive retarder there, so that's good. Picked up really well, as you can see with that double clutch. So, we're turning left here. So yeah guys, it's, it's, it's a nice truck, well made, and what I'll do is I'll turn left here again. And we'll go back into uh, the uh, garage here, get up some speed, try the retarder again. So you can hear the retarder kick in. It is quite a re a aggressive type of retarder. So you're going to have to be careful with it. Kick back, kick down is good. It does work well. All those knobs and whistles. So then guys, that's, that's the end of the tour. Um, yeah, it is a really nice uh, truck. Um, I have enjoyed driving it. And uh, if you have liked what you see, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Really mean a lot. And until the next time guys, bye for now.